YouTube. What's up? Um, I've been getting a question here and there, but more recently a lot lately. Um, asking for an update video because I haven't had one in so long. Um, let me turn on that music. I guess it's a little bit too loud. Hand loud. But I haven't done an update video since. May. It's October, almost November. Yeah, it hasn't been well, hasn't it? Um, but I was looking through my archives on my Tumblr just to see like whenever I started like talking about and stuff like that. And it's been actually over a year since I started my transition. It's insane. I don't and I was looking at the term transgenderist because I still wasn't educated enough to like know what was going on but that doesn't apply to me anymore it's definitely where I got my start though but today actually hold on this cat dropped him <laughs> um but today I'm actually going to my therapist I'm so excited um I've been seeing him for six months now I can't remember I have to look but six months ish right now and he has made a draft for me to start HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy or testosterone. And I'm so excited. I get to go to my appointment, sign the release and start like as soon as I can get in with Dr. Audell, which is like pretty much the only HRT doctor around here I've ever heard of at least. Um, my therapist is actually that way about 45 minutes and my doctor is about that way 45 minutes so I'm kind of stuck in the middle here but it's all completely worth it to me just to um, actually be starting something that you know I've been working towards for so long um I might actually have a right here you guys can't see of course but I might put the draft of my letter up just so you guys can see I'll put like a link like somewhere maybe in here ish or um in the description that shows um, a tiny pic of it, but I'm just so excited for that, and I thought today would be a good day to update. Um, as for how I feel, I've never felt happier in my life. Like I'm in a good place. I've got. I actually just started a new job with with um, one of my really really good friends. He actually hired me, um, but I'll get to that later. The point is, I'm really, 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 really happy in my life. I've never, like, felt more comfortable in my skin than I do right now. Um, and everybody realizes that. They really do. But I haven't told my family, um, which still really sucks. You know, a year into it, and I'm almost ready to start something that will change the way I appear. You know? I wouldn't need to update the software, but, um, I've never been happier, but I can't act on it, you know? Just because my parents don't know, a lot of my family doesn't know, my Uncle Gary knows, which is my mom's brother, he's gay, um, and he seems cool with it. I haven't talked to him face to face, because he doesn't live here, he actually lives in Oregon, and he comes down, like, twice a year, but during Christmas I plan to talk to him about it. It's just the fact of telling my parents it's really scary, you know? Yeah, excuse my hair. <laughs> that hat's a little bit hot. Um, I'm still passing on a day-to-day -day basis, so at least I'm trying to. I actually had a job for about two months, which I don't really want to get into other than the fact that it was a subway, and I like their bait work there. They all, for the most part, knew about me. It was kind of an unspoken thing, just because work travels so fast around here. They knew about me being transgender, but they still call me by my girl name and all that stuff. Just to ease confusion, because I have a really girly voice. Um, which I can't wait to start tea to fix. But there's the issue of that, and that was just really, 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 really dysphoric for me. But the person I'm working with, his name's Lester, I love him to death. Um, I actually met him at the bar. He knows everything about me. He calls me there, and, which is really cool. To actually, you know, answer that is 
more normal than I thought it would ever be. Like whenever like I first started, I didn't understand like how I could, you know, transition to answering to it so easy, but it came pretty naturally. Sorry, I'm switching sound from the door. But um I don't know. It's such a weird feeling and it makes me feel happy though, you know? But then at the same time I get so upset because I will never ever ever probably be able to break through that barrier with my mom and dad. As much as I'd like it to. And it just I had to break down the other night. Because I don't talk about this a lot. And I'm not going to break down right now because I don't cry in front of people anymore. <laughs> um but I don't want to help my dad at all. It would just probably kill him. So I'm so stuck right now. You know? And that brings me to the point of something that's kind of a big issue. Um, I like being around people that understand what's going on. In this area right here, it's really hard to find. In Tyler County, you know? Um, you know, right? It's something that a reminder, but um, it's really hard to find people to support that's right here in this area, you know? I'm in such a rural county that I would probably, you know, be thrown upon. I've told you, um, you guys this before in other videos. But honestly, I am finding more people here that accept homosexuality than I thought there would ever be, um, which is a really good thing. It gives me hope for the future, definitely. For any other people that are in this area or any rural area, that there's hope, you know. It isn't hard. Well, it will be hard, but it won't be as hard as it is now. You know what I mean? But, like I said, it brings me to the point that I like being around people that support me, that understand. Anybody does. And I love the bar. I love the bar so much. I love Parkersburg. I want to move there one day so bad. Um, I'm not crying. Okay. <laughs> It's just a really hard subject for me to talk about because I don't. You guys want it in the video. Screw you guys too. <laughs> um, but I love the bar because I'm the people. I don't go there to get laid. I don't go there to get people mad. I don't go there to flirt. I don't go there to even do drag, even though that's what I do there. That's kind of an excuse to go there, I guess, you know. Oh, I have a show today, let's go to the bar. But, you know, I go there because I have friends and I feel comfortable. I wish I looked closer. Oh, no. And I need to, if I do need to get in my head, my priorities straight just because, you know, I fell in love with Woodstar. Hell, I mean, I went there not as many times as a lot of people and I fell in love with it just because it was such a good place of community, you know? But... It closed down, and you know, I have to keep in mind that the other side, which is in the bar that I'm at all the time in the house cast, but it, it will close down one day, you know. Bars come and go. And I have to remember that, you know, I can't pick that kind of a thing over my relationships and my family and stuff like that. It's just kind of hard whenever, you know, your family doesn't accept it. So, if any of my um, other type family sees this, I want to thank you. Because it means a lot. And, but, anyways, um, let me see where I am now in my notes. Oh, yeah. I started testosterone pills. Uh, and I actually have to go get them because I'm about to bring them over there, over here. But I don't want to, but they're just like. $10 testosterone booster pills at Walmart. They haven't really done a whole lot for me. They've given me some energy. They haven't done anything as far as physical changes or emotional changes or anything like that. Um, but I just got really, really antsy and I couldn't wait any longer, you know. It's probably even like a sugar pill, you never know. Um, but yeah, I guess that's my update. I'm still going to continue to put up drag show videos. I'll put up more updates more often if I can. I want to try like hell. <laughs> you know? Um, 
after today's appointment with the gender therapist, um, Mr. Pickett, who's been so amazing and so good to me, it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna go see Dr. Avil, or at least go call her. It's weird, she doesn't take appointments. I'm like, what doctor does not have appointments? It's walk-ins only. But whatever, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna call her and I'm gonna see about the cost of everything because I can't use my parents' insurance card that I'm still under because I'm under 25 and whatever. But I can't use that, so I'm gonna have to pay all out of pocket. Um, my friend Andy actually just, he goes to her, he's at FTM as well, but um, he told me how much it was. I can't remember for life, I mean, I'll have to ask him again, but things are getting better. Um, my main issue now is just family and struggling with my priorities. It's just a balance of being happy and not happy, you know? But that's my basically my update for today. Sorry it was kind of depressing. Sorry it kind of sucked. Um, but I'll definitely get back with you guys later.